Bonjour, hello, good morning. Um, are you ready? We are, yeah? Then Welcome. <laughs> then yeah. Thank you all for coming. Um, we are going to start with a greeting video from Sylvie Benzoni, the director of the Institute, who uh, cannot be here today in person, but she will be here tomorrow and on Friday. Hi, Elodie, how are you? Hi, Sylvie, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. So, are we ready for this uh, joint event, Matrix Imaginary? Yes, at IHP? we are. We work hard with all the staff of IHP and we are ready to welcome all the participants. So, welcome everybody. I'm very happy to welcome you here. I'm Sylvie Bensoni, the director of this institute at IHP. And uh, I'm uh, delighted to introduce you to Elodie Cheroux, who has joined IHP recently and who has taken over the organization of this uh, tremendous event with Andreas Matt and Cindy Lawrence. In fact, we thought of this event uh, some time ago in 2018 in Rio de Janeiro, where I met Andreas and Cindy. And unfortunately, because of the COVID crisis, we had to postpone it. We ran last year an online event, which was quite successful, and we are really delighted to eventually welcome physically this event here at IHP. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. You enjoy all the activities, and you have a very successful conference. Uh, so welcome again, and see you soon. OK, so we thought we would start by just playing two videos to introduce you to MoMath and Imaginary, in case some of you are not familiar with the two organizations that we're partnering with IHP. <laughs> Hey, I'm now imaginary. Is Greenland really twice as big as Australia? Can you find an algebraic surface with a world record number of singularities? At Imaginary, we change the way people interact with modern mathematics. We are an interdisciplinary community showing the world that math can be both fundamental and fascinating. We develop highly interactive exhibits, bringing people closer to math and proving that everyone can use and enjoy it. Imaginary started in Oberwolfach, but soon spread all over the world. Our exhibits have been shown in more than 50 countries and in 27 languages in cooperation with worldwide partners. We inspire people to think and to reinvent mathematics in their own way, so that together we can solve the problems of tomorrow. That is why all our content is open source, digital and analog. We provide a platform to share interactive mathematics and creative tools. Discover and explore math now. Play with our software, generate images, share your ideas, or start your own math exhibition. Imaginary. Embrace math and tell the world. All right. Well, with that, uh, a hearty welcome to everyone. Uh, Hi, Elodie. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, too. So Sylvie wanted to have the last uh, word. So for yeah, those of you who don't know are. me, my name's Cindy. I am the director and one of the founders of the National Museum of Mathematics in New York City. So and welcome very, everybody. I'm very happy to welcome you here. I'm very Cindy early Benzoni, in my experience with the museum, I visited Oberwolfach and saw some of the amazing things that Imaginary did. And Andreas and I have been collaborating ever since. But one of the things that happened early on, the Museum of Math has been open for 10 years. And I realized that there wasn't a community of like-minded people getting together. There are a lot of science center conferences, but there wasn't something for people that are opening math museums, already have math museums, doing math outreach, want to do math outreach. 
And so back in, I guess it was 2016, uh, 2016, for th- for Matrix. No, I think it was, was it 16? 2016, oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. in 2015 or 2016, but I believe 2016, um, we had the first conference in Dresden. 2014. Oh my goodness. Because He's we, right. No, because He's we right. had our, ours in 16. That's 14, why I, 16, 18, and we skipped 20. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. We both stand corrected. Okay. It was 2014. I knew it was the even years. So 2014 was Dresden. 2016, we met again in Leeds. 2018, we met again in Barcelona. And we planned to meet in Paris in 2020. Um, that didn't happen. But when we were starting to talk about 2020, I realized that the Imaginary Conference, which Andreas and his team run, was around the same time. And and that's when we got together and said, rather than having two conferences that might attract the same audience, but might be hard for people to come to both, that we should partner and do this together. And so um, finally, two years later than we planned, here we are. And it's such a delight to see so many familiar faces, but also to see so many new faces. When we started, there were very few of us, and and we're growing. And I know there are museums opening focused on mathematics around the world. We're delighted by that. There are other outreach efforts going on around the world. And it's wonderful to be able to chat with each other, to collaborate, to share ideas. And especially, I'm so grateful that we can do that in person this year. So thank you all for joining us. I do just want to mention um, the video that you saw about MoMath. You saw some pretty neat exhibits. And the designer of those exhibits is here with me, Tim Nissen. Do you want to give a wave? He's been very instrumental. And you'll also get to meet Tim Chartier, who is our visiting professor. We really only work with people named Tim. So with that, let me turn to Andreas to give us a bit more. Yeah, I'm, I'm Andreas, not, uh, not Tim. Um, yeah, I, what I always like when we, when we do something, and maybe it's a bit strange to do it publicly, but to ponder about why, why do we do that. Uh, so take, take a little bit of breath. So why, do we, why are you here? Why do we meet? Why do we organize a conference? Um, in my, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. Why do we conferen- uh, organize a physical conference? So. Um, I put a few things that are kind of clear. So there's the meet and greet part, which is maybe becoming more and more important now after not a lot of meetings and greetings or just online greetings. There's the show and see, like you present something, you look at other presentations. And um, there's the collaborate and create, which is my favorite and maybe the most difficult, but the most sustainable and fruitful that you that you start, I don't know, you start a new idea or you even have the idea at the conference or you start a new kind of group of people that you create something. And the question is how uh, can we foster this creation? And the question is also how, like what's, what's a physical conference nowadays? We did, uh, like all, we all did, like participated at online conferences, we organized online conferences. Um, now, of course, I put a few things here. So it's like the carbon footprint I put twice. I think it's very important to look at the carbon footprint difference between the online and the offline, like the physical conferences. We were facing, again, a lot of visa and passport issues. So uh, again, we are confronted with borders, which is interesting. So it's not just the internet, electricity, computer border. It's a real physical passport visa border. So you will see uh, quite some people could not come because of, because of this. Um, you have the, the transport borders with delayed trains and arriving. You have the, I don't know, the real coffee border, <laughs> which is just costly to serve coffee and to uh, not only the coffee, but to, like to organize a physical conference is definitely different costs. But uh, it's, I think it's worth it. So there are things that we might miss. I will miss my kids next door, hidden, looking at what I'm doing. Um, but um, we, will, we will feel each other. And I think that's the, maybe the main part. And that's why the meet and greet again is so important that we, that we physically feel each other. And we, I don't know, we see three dimensional faces. We see how tall the people are. Again, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. We can, you know, you can kind of jump into a crowd of people and and uh, discover new people that on in an online format would not work. You know, you just see somebody or just happen to sit or stand next to somebody to talk. So I think the main part of today, and let's I don't know, let's see what what makes sense would be this kind of the meet and greet. 
And if we manage to get the collaborate and create, um, I'll, uh, I'll explain a little bit about this collaborative, collaborative session that we have, but that would be the best. And uh, in the last conferences, I know that many projects have started at the conference. So we're going to see the Holomat project, for example, which was started at the very first Imagine a conference. So there's a lot of like sparkling ideas that we hope can start here. Um, Good. I'm going to uh, look into the program, not in detail, but give you a few details on the program. So the first part, which is important, the, uh, <laughs> the breaks are the most important thing. Huh? So lunch break uh, is not part of the conference in terms of, uh, of funding. So this means we'll give you a lot of time and we give you the city of Paris and we invite you to explore. <laughs> Elodie said that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of restaurants just around the, the institute. Yeah, if you walk out to the main street, go left. Yeah. That's the advice. Towards the Chardin du Luxembourg, you can also have sandwiches there. There's all different types of restaurants. So the idea is um, find a group, join, join the others, distribute, probably not, not go all to the same restaurant, and, and uh, tell the others if you find a good, good secret place. Uh, I think you found even a church with the... the uh, yeah, where Blaise yeah. Pascal is buried. Yeah. So Very close to here. <laughs> so that's the lunch breaks for the next three days. Then um, we have one particular day tomorrow. We start early. I don't know if 9.30 is early. For, Par for Paris in Berlin, it would be early. It's um, early for those <laughs> of us from the US. <laughs> so, um, and we start without coffee break in the morning tomorrow. So this means uh, grab your coffee um, at home or at the, at the hotel. Um, at the place you stay, and um, on day three, we'll have the coffee break again in the morning. Then today is a special day. We packed a lot in the first day. I think that's where we are all fresh still, and, we, and it's nice to meet. So uh, the afternoon, we will spend at the Math Bazaar. So I don't know if, uh, if some, of, some of you have seen it already. It's in the second floor. Uh, many of you have already put up um, exhibits, devices, performances, posters, whatever, computer gadgets. Um, and bustle tiles. So um, in the afternoon, we will all spend strolling around the math bazaar on the, on the second floor. There's one booth here also on the ground floor, which will stay open also for the three days. It's an interactive exhibit booth, uh, just if you go just outside. Um, there will be food served at the math bazaar. It's like also not only a mathematical experience, it's also a culinary experience. We ask the, the uh, owners of the stalls to bring some tasty snacks what, from, their, from their regions, their countries, so feel free to eat, through, eat yourself through the bazaar. Um, we will join the bazaar with the coffee break, so that's why I put the board around the, the, the two of them, and we will start the whole bazaar with a very special mathematics and mime performance uh, today. Tim is, is here, Tim and, and, and his wife. So um, that's for today, and after the bazaar, the dinner, again, food, very important, we will all walk together, so that's, that's an important part that we can walk from here to the Sorbonne University and there will be this uh, few over Paris uh, cocktail dinner that you're all invited to. Um, tomorrow, that's also important in terms of, that's an optional cultural activity, the Nat uh, National History Museum opens only for us in the evening, so we will have the whole museum for us. There are two exhibitions that you can choose, either you go to the mineral mineralogy exhibition or the evolution exhibition. So we will have about 50 places for each exhibition. Um, and again, we will walk from here. Tomorrow it's a little bit more strict. We have to be there in time. Um, quarter to five, we have to be there. So. We have to be here, let's say we meet, uh, we, we meet at 4.30, last, uh, last minute. Okay. Right, and to be clear, you can't meet us at the museum and come in. You have to come in with the group, so yeah. join us. Yeah. Good, so that's uh, that. Now on day three, there's the, uh, we call it the collaborative creative session. Uh, it's CCS, I don't know. Um, how does it work? So I don't know if you have seen at the uh, coffee reception, there's a big blackboard on the left side. And I don't know if this also exists in your countries, but in Germany in the supermarkets, they have these uh, pin boards where you can put, I don't know, I sell a hamster or uh, I need a, like whatever. And it's a little bit like this, so you're not uh, uh, selling your hamster, but you're proposing a, a session uh, to discuss mathematics, to create something in terms of mathematics, to exchange. And the session can be any, any type of format, it can be your own topic, it can be an idea, uh, it can be something on, on, I don't know, museums of mathematics or anything. Um, and you just have to fill out a paper and put it there, and then uh, on the second day, 
um, everybody can select a session, everybody who wants to. So you put your name on a session, and on the third day, you go to that session. The format is open, and um, the ideas arise here. Um, yeah, get, get inspired today, and then propose a session. We already have one session. Ricardo was so nice to give us a sample, sample session. So um, here you see an example. This is a rather a more technical session, uh, how to improve interaction with computer-based exhibits. How can we encourage um, all types of people to participate? And in this creative session, I would like to create together some ideas following the motto, inclusive, interactive, and inspiring. And um, he brought some tools, um, like some ideas for keywords, and um, he will work with one multiplayer exhibit where 30 people can play at the same time, uh, just in front of the, of the entrance here. So that will be one, one session. But feel free to add a lot of sessions. We have a lot of rooms. Uh, and on the third day, you will see which session is going to happen in which room. If you can also, um, it's really an open format, so if, if you're in one session and you feel uh, like you want to go uh, sneak into another session, it's the, the, room, the, the rooms are open, so you can always also change. There's no presentation at the end of the sessions. We will um, uh, put some agents, uh, spies, in some of the sessions, so maybe we will um, give an, like a summary at the end um, to one uh, sentence for each session at the very end of the conference that you see what happened, but it's not a, uh, you don't have to produce something. It's really about exchange. You can, but you don't have to. Um, good. Um, I also feel like apart from the pondering about the why, I think it's very important. Um, it's, I think it has become more natural in terms of online conferences that we talk about the code of conduct. I'm, I'm super positive that uh, it's, uh, it's, we are all super respectful here, but I think it's very important to, to just look at um, at the basic, uh, I don't know, ethics you know, of a conference. Uh, we put up an online, um, like a, the code of conduct for the conference, um, and feel free to look at it. And if you encounter any any issues or problems, let us know immediately if there's something strange, or uh, yeah, if you don't feel comfortable. Um, there's another thing that we have. Um, Daniel here, he's uh, he volunteered. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, how voluntary, yeah. And so he will take a, um, like a log of the whole conference. There's a, a, a Wikipedia page on, on math communication, and he will just log whatever is happening, all the websites that people talk about. It's a non-formal log. It's a, it's, a, it's a wiki page, so everybody can also just put things, and uh, we keep a register of the, uh, of the conference, which is public and, and editable by everybody. All right. Um, one, one last. Yeah. announcement. So uh, we're very happy to be back in person. We do this conference in even years, every other year starting in 2014. Um, so 2024, if anybody here would like to partner with MoMath and Imaginary, find Andreas or me. We would love to talk to you about 2024. <laughs>